right? Of course, Johnny new Gale edition. From new edition will be here this morning. We'll kick it he's with Johnny Gill. He's been here before, though. Yeah, he's been here before. So we'll kick it with Johnny Gill. Now, um, since Yee is not here, we don't know what's going on in front page news. Nobody gave me a piece of paper. I'm sure it's got something to do with the Trump administration. Yeah, we'll say Donald Trump. All right? When we come back, keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. You are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, <laughs> man, hit it with the heat. Uh, yes. It's the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Yes, Donkey of the Day for Thursday, February 16th goes to a young man named Leonard. I have no clue who Leonard is. Never heard of him until he started trending on Twitter along with the hashtag Hurt Bay. Now, I did some investigating and... I went to this article on the Huffington Post titled, This Man Cheated on His Girlfriend, and the internet is absolutely fuming. Now, the first thing I thought to myself was, hey, dudes get caught cheating every day, B. Who gives a damn? What y'all mad at Leonard for? You know, was all of y'all in a relationship with Leonard and you're mad he cheated on every single one of you? Because I could not understand why somebody was trending just because they cheated, but then I went and watched this video of lame-ass Leonard and his girlfriend, Courtney. Now, this video is courtesy of the scene.com. It's six minutes long. The video was Leonard and Courtney sitting down, facing each other, and Leonard is spilling his guts to Courtney confessional style as they sit around and discuss their former relationship from beginning, middle, and end. Now, all Courtney did was cry. Oh, so heartbreaking. All she did was cry. And all lame ass Leonard did was twist the knife the more she cried. Would you like to hear it? Here it go. What did you do? I did everything. Like what? I had sex with other girls. I did everything. I would go through his phone and I would like see text messages or like pictures of girls and then I would ask him about it. And sometimes you would lie and just say like, oh, that's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. One time I went to his room and he had someone else in his room and he told me to leave. And I went back to my room and I just cried. There was kind of a point where things weren't the same. What do you mean? Just like you would always go through my phone mm -hmm. or my computer. Yeah, or... I didn't trust you. Mm -hmm. If you would go to that measure to find whatever, yeah. why why wouldn't you just leave? Mm -hmm. How many times did you cheat on me? I wasn't counting. <sighs> it had more to do with me just not being able to commit. There's nothing that you could have done differently that I think would have prevented it. I think that you did everything that you needed to do to be a good girlfriend. I was lucky to have someone like you. I apologize for hurting you, and I hope in the future we can remain good friends and I get a chance to see you grow into the woman that you're becoming. Nigga, please. That was... You cannot say that word, man. Well, listen. I have all kinds of issues with this clip, okay? And this is one of those moments where I just take a deep breath, <sighs> click the heels on my Tim's three times, say dead ass and facts to myself, and use the opportunity to teach, okay? First of all, my brothers, the cheating not get caught is always the method because it's not the cheating that gets the guy in trouble, it's the getting caught. Okay, congregation, did you hear what I just said? It's not the cheating that hurts your girl's feelings. It's not the cheating that breaks your girl's heart. It's not the cheating that gets you in trouble, young man. It's the getting caught. What your girl don't know can't and won't hurt her. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, doesn't make a sound. If Nick Cannon drops a rap album, Beyonce style tomorrow, and nobody cares, nobody listens, would the rhymes on it whack? The answer is probably yes, but you understand the point I'm trying to make. The point is, if I don't listen to how whack Nick Cannon raps, you know, then I can never call him whack. If you never get caught cheating, then your girl can never call you a cheater. You see the logic? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Leonard, 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 do you not know the rules of engagement when your woman is misled? Okay, and listening to the fake news about you cheating. Okay, and by fake news, I mean the text messages, uh, pictures that the girl sent, or anything else you may receive from another woman. All right, Leonard, only one thing you need to remember. If you do indeed find yourself in a, a unfortunate situation, deny, deny, deny. Okay, I don't care that Courtney walked in and caught you red-handed with another woman. You look her dead in the eyes and tell her, wake up, you're dreaming. <laughs> you really need to get that sleepwalking thing checked out, okay? Your woman catch you with another girl, you have to blame it on the media. 
The this media? Is, this is fake news. Oh, all right, goodness. tell her the Russians hacked your penis. All right, tell her this woman that she's looking at is what you call an alternative thought. Okay, y'all are engaging in alternative fornication. None of this is the truth. It's not a fact. It's not even real. It's a figment of your imagination. Okay, this is why all you fools need to go buy your woman a copy of Don Miguel Ruiz's The Fifth Agreement. Okay, listen to me. Everybody always gets the four agreements. That's a great read. But it's a sequel called The Fifth Agreements. And The Fifth Agreement is be skeptical, but listen. Okay, the fifth agreement uses doubt as a tool to discern the truth. Okay, doubt takes us behind the words we hear to the underlying real message our intent. By being skeptical, we don't believe every message we hear, and we don't put our faith in lies. We quickly move beyond emotional drama and the feeling of victimization. So when you buy your woman this book and she catches you cheating red-handed, butt-naked in the poom poom, she will stop and analyze the situation. If you tell her it's not what it looks like, she may believe you, Leonard, okay? Because she's being skeptical but listening. So if you get caught red-handed cheating, and your woman is being skeptical but listening since she's listening since you got her ear tell her you got drugged and raped okay pass out as soon as she walks into the room just don't move okay wake up and tell her call the police on the alternative thought okay you're with at the moment i'm trying to tell you leonard aka lenny loud packs on twitter deny 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 only reason a man should be confessing to any cheating is if he's married to one of the greatest artists ever and you know she can turn those lemons into a lemonade album. Okay, other than that, all you're doing is making the block hot, Leonard. You know why? Because the truth is, men don't cheat. And I don't like the false narrative, the alternative facts that Scene.com is putting in people's mind with this video of Leonard and Courtney. Okay, clearly two paid actors that are reading a script, reinforcing the negative stereotypes of men being low down, good for nothing, cheating dogs who can't help but get caught. It's disgusting. All right. And a misrepresentation of men everywhere. And Leonard, we hate you for participating in this video because once again, men don't cheat. And let's just hypothetically say if this Leonard and Courtney video is real, then Leonard, you should be embarrassed for breaking the rules of adultery. And I just explained them to you. Number one, don't get caught. And number two, if you happen to find yourself in an unfortunate situation, deny, deny, deny. Please give lame ass Leonard the biggest hee haw, please. <laughs> Uh, I don't here, know about that, Leonard. Out here, got us looking crazy. Now, let me morning. ask you this. Would you give Issa Rae on Insecure on that final episode that same advice? Deny, deny, deny. Issa Rae. Yeah, she should have denied. Yeah, when absolutely. When she got caught cheating. She should have. But you know why she can't deny? Because we all saw it. Because it was an HBO TV show. <laughs> and we all watched her get smutted out in the studio. He okay? didn't see it. And we the watched Lawrence be a good man and deny, deny, deny other vagina he could have had. Okay? Oh, but always remember the cheating not get See caught. See that double standard? The cheating mm -hmm. not get caught. That is the method. Been telling y'all for years. Okay, you got to treat cheating. How about don't cheat? Like you were saying the other day. There don't, you go. How about just don't cheat? That too. Don't me, cheat. Because men don't cheat. You're you right. You did the right you, thing. But I'm just hypothetical. Sometimes you got to express your feelings. I'm just, hypothetically, your feelings, speaking. I'm just <laughs> hypothetically speaking. If you do Should cheat. Should you find yourself in that situation? Yes. You treat cheating like you're a black man who is a two time felon and you're driving a car with 10 kilos and a dead white woman in the trunk. You can't afford to get caught. You know My how cautious you would be driving that car? All right. That's how you better, That's how you be if you decide to be one of these men who cheat. You'd be too cautious and get caught. Because men don't cheat. All right. Well, thank yes. you for that donkey today. Okay. This guy here. Asky, 800-585-1051. Leonard, you might want to call Angela Yee if you need some help. 800-585-1051. If you need relationship advice, call her right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.